Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing week 14 in college football. We are talking right now with Indian Cowboy from DocSports.com, who has agreed to uh, take a selection of games that I asked him to cover. Normally, he requests the games or requests or takes uh, games from a list, but this week he's just taken four games that I asked him to take. I really appreciate it. Indian Cowboy, thanks for being back with us. Hey, Pete, thanks for having us. All right, Mississippi State, Mississippi. This is an interesting one. I think, I think I'm seeing an edge here. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. We'll see if you agree with me. First, uh, just give everyone an overview of what DocSports.com is all about. Of course, you do all the football stuff there, but uh, it seems like your, your strongest stuff is the basketball stuff, right? Yeah, we're, we're very good at basketball. Uh, we were number one in the country last year, going 94 and 62 for uh, 60% for plus 12,890. And that includes uh, phenomenal runs. At one point, we were 20 and two in NBA doing one play, our one play of the day system. It's very simple and selective and successful. And it's for the common player, but it's always, we always go with our best selection and we give our second and third tertiary best selections on our comp selections on our daily video, which is widely watched. Uh, we have a lot of subscribers. So 61%, uh, or we should say, um, you know, we have a lot of people that subscribe to the videos. Uh, we've gone 61% for two and a half years now in comp selections, but college basketball, 65 and 45, including a nine and 0 and 18 and two run last year for plus 4,500. Between both sports, we were number one in the country at 156 and 103, 59% for plus 17,310, which is awesome. Combine that with the winning WNBA season. So we win all things basketball is concerned and coming off a nice football selection on the uh, Eagles to route the Titans, coming off uh, with the worst loss of Chip Kelly's career on the road against the Packers. So we bounce quickly on the Eagles on the bounce back minus 11. So for a nice selection. So wow. we're, excited about the, we're excited about football this week. Uh, we're excited about the NBA, obviously, 17-10 to start the season at plus 2,400. And uh, we're excited about college basketball. We're just excited, and we hope you join us for the daily videos as well. All right. Nice results there, Indian Cowboy. All right. Well, let's see what you can tell us about Mississippi uh, State and Mississippi. Right now, Mississippi State is uh, the one and a half or two point favorite. Totals 49 and a half. And just in general, Mississippi State seems like they're just the stronger team this year, right? Uh, Ole Miss got shut out at Arkansas last week, and Mississippi State rebounded off their first loss of the year uh, with a huge win over Vandy. And the question here is now, uh, you know, I don't know, do they maybe let down after their first loss of the year and then a redemptive blowout win? Um, maybe so. Maybe psychologically it's not a great spot for Mississippi State, but it just seems to me that, uh, that on the field this year, Mississippi State has the slight edge, and that should be enough to get them a cover at, uh, at, at minus one and a half. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, the side is tough. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, if we had to pick a side, we would pick Mississippi State. Okay. Uh, but keep in mind that... Uh, you know, Ole Miss comes off a really, really bad loss to Arkansas, and this is pretty much their entire season. They're completely out of the BCS playoff picture, obviously. Nothing would be better than to ruin Mississippi State's season, of course, who beat them 17-10 and 10 at home last year in overtime. Uh, but keep in mind that we actually like the under here. Mm -hmm. uh, we, think the, we think the total's pretty high. Uh, with Mississippi State scoring 51 points the last game. Whenever Mississippi State puts up a truckload of points, they typically have a letdown their next game. Um, this is a team that struggles against strong defenses. You know, Ole Miss's offense is not that good, but their defense is very strong. And Ole Miss's defense, you know, keep in mind that Mississippi State only put up, you know, 20 points against Alabama, and that was 20 to 25. 45 was the final score. These two teams have consistently played to the under two. Uh, over the last 10 contests or the last 10 years, they played to the under seven out of the last 10 times. And that's and now Mississippi State and Ole Miss's defenses, respectively, are, mo are both uh, significantly better. Last year, went up to 27 points on a 53-and-a-half total. This year, both those defenses are even better than that. So especially with Ole Miss getting routed at Arkansas, losing 0-30, to 30, they're going to be motivated here. At the same time, Mississippi State has the edge. But at the same time, this game is going to play towards Ole Miss's hands, which is on the defensive side. We look for a drag-out game. We have this at about 23-17 possibly. But more importantly, we have it as an under. Indian Cowboy passing on a side in the Egg Bowl like in uh, under 49-and-a-half. Thanks so much, I see. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns, big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Google Plus and do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.